Book 6. The Asvins or Heavenly Twins, the Dioscuri or Castor and Pollux of the Hindus, have frequently been mentioned. See, note, called respectively Garhapesha, Ahavanya, and Dakshia, household, sacrificial, and southern. The store of merit accumulated by a holy or austere life secures only a temporary seat in the mansion of bliss. When by the lapse of time this store is exhausted, return to earth is unavoidable. The conflagration which destroys the world at the end of a yuga or age, Himalaya, Terra means, star. The poet plays upon the name by comparing her beauty to that of the Lord of Stars, the moon. Supra, the well-winged, is another. Name of Garua the king of birds. See, note, the god of death, the flagstaff erected. In honor of the god Indra is lowered when the festival is. Over. Asvini in astronomy is the head of Aries or the first of the twenty-eight lunar. Mansions or asterisms, Indra the father of Bali that it is believed that every creature killed by Rama obtained in consequence immediate beatitude. And blessed the hand that gave so dear a death. Yayati was invited to heaven by Indra, and conveyed on the way thither by Matali, Indra's charioteer. He afterwards returned to earth where, by his virtuous administration he rendered all his Subjects exempt from passion and decay. Garrett C. D. of India, the ascetic's dress which he wore. During his exile. There is much. Inconsistency in the passages of the poem in which the vanners. Are spoken of, which seems to point to two widely different legends. The vanners are. Generally represented as semi-divine beings with preternatural powers, living in houses and eating and drinking like men sometimes as here, as monkeys pure and simple. Living is woods and eating fruit and roots. For a younger brother to marry before the elder is a gross violation of Indian law and duty. The same law applied to daughters with the Hebrews, it must not be so done in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Genesis 19 26 the hedgehog and porcupine, the lizard, the rhinoceros, the tortoise, and the rabbit or hare, wise legislators declare. Lawful food among five-toed animals. Manu, v. 18. He cannot buckle his distempered cause. Within the belt of rule. Macbeth. The ancus or iron hook with which an elephant is driven and guided, Hyagriva, horse-necked, is a form of Vishu. Asvatara is the name of a chief of the Nagas or serpents which inhabit the regions under the earth, it is also the name of a Gandharv. Asvatari ought to be the wife of one of the two, but I am not sure that this conjecture is right. The commentator does not say who this Asvatari is, or what tradition or myth is alluded to. Vimala Bodha reads Asvatari. In the nominative case, and explains, Asvatari is the sun, and as the sun with his rays brings back the moon which has been sunk in the ocean and the infernal regions. So will I bring back Sita. Garizio. That is. Consider what answer you can give to your accusers when they charge you with injustice in killing me. Manu, Book 8. 318. But men who have committed offenses and have received from kings the punishment due to them go pure to heaven and become as clear as those who have done well. Mandata was one of the earlier descendants of Ikshvaku. His name is mentioned in Rama's genealogy that I cannot understand how Valmiki could put such an excuse as this into Rama's mouth. Rama with all solemn ceremony has made a league of alliance with Bali's younger brother whom he regards as a dear friend and almost as an equal, and now he winds up his reasons for killing Bali by coolly saying, besides you are only a monkey. You know, after all, and as such, I have every right to kill you how, when, and where I like. 
A name of Garoa the king of birds. The great enemy of the serpents. Sugrava's wife. Our deeds still follow with us from afar. And what we have been makes us what we are. Sugrava and Ongod. Ongod himself, being too young to govern, would be Yuvaraja or heir apparent. Sushya was the son of Veruatha. God of the sea. A demon with the tail of a dragon. That causes eclipses by endeavoring to swallow the sun and moon. The Lord of Stars is the moon. Dot or the passage may be interpreted. Be neither too obsequious or affectionate, nor wanting in due respect or love. Sacrifices and all. Religious rites begin and end with ablution and the wife of. The officiating Brahmin takes an important part in the performance of the holy ceremonies. Visvarupa, a son of Twashri or Visvakarma. The heavenly architect was a three headed monster slain by Indra, the Vanar chief, not to be confounded with Terra, Riva, July August. But the rains begin a month earlier, and what follows must not be taken literally. The text has Purvo Yam Varshiko Masa Riva Saliligand. The Bengal. Recension has the same, and Garizio translates, Equesto il mi Shravna. Luglio Agosto, Primo della Stagione Piavosa, in Cui di Lugano Luac. Kartik, October November. Indras, as the nocturnal sun, hides himself, transformed, in the starry heavens, the stars are his eyes. The hundred eyed or all seeing, Panoptes, Argos placed as a spy over the actions of the cow. Beloved by Zeus, in the Hellenic equivalent of this form of Indras. De Gubernatis. Zoological Mythology, Volume 1, p. 418. Bodhayana and others. Sugrava appears to have been consecrated with all the ceremonies that attended the Abhishika or coronation of an Indian prince of the Aryan race. Compare the preparations made for. Rama's consecration. Thus Homer frequently introduces into Troy the rites of Hellenic worship, Vitex Nigundo. Malyavat, the name of this mountain appears to me to be erroneous, and I think that instead of Malyavat should be read Malayavat, Malaya, is a group of mountains situated exactly in that southern part of India where Rama now was, while Malyavat is placed to the northeast. Garizio, mantles of the skin of the black antelope. Were the prescribed dress of ascetics and religious students the sacred cord worn as the badge of religious initiation by men of the three twice-born castes. The hum with which students conduct. Their tasks that I omit here a long general description. Of the rainy season which is not found in the Bengal recension and appears to have been interpolated by a far inferior and much later hand than Valmiki's. It is composed in a meter different from that of the rest of the canto, and contains figures of poetical rhetoric and commonplaces which are the delight of more recent poets. Prashthapada or Bhadra, the modern Baden, corresponds to half of August and half of September. The Saman or Samaveda, the third of the four Vedas is really merely a reproduction of parts of the Rig Veda, transposed and scattered about. Piecemeal, only seventy-eight verses in the whole being, it is said. Untraceable to the present. Recension of the Rig Veda. Ashada is the month corresponding to parts of June and July, Bharat, who was regent during Rama's absence. Or with Garizio, following. The gloss of another commentary has completed every holy rite and accumulated stores of merit. The river on which Ayodhya was built that I omit a sloka or four lines on gratitude and ingratitude repeated word for word from the last canto, the Indian crane, a magnificent bird, easily domesticated. The troops who guard the frontiers on the north, south, east and west, the Chitaka, Cuculus. Melanolucus, is supposed to drink nothing but the water. For the clouds, the time for warlike. 
expeditions began when the rains had ceased, the rainbow. Indra's associates in arms, and musicians. Of his heaven, Maria, a spirituous liquor from the blossoms of the Lythrum fruticosum, with sugar, and k. Their names are as follows. Angad, Minda, Dwida, Gavaya, Gavaksha, Gaja, Saraba, Vidyanmalai. Sampati, Suryaksa, Hanuman, Virabahu, Subahu, Nala, Kumuda, Sushya, Tara. Jambuvatu, Dadhavakra, Nila, Supatala, and Sinitra. The Kalpadroma, or Wishing tree is one of the trees of Svarga or Indra's paradise, it has the power of granting all desires. The meaning is that if a man promises to give a horse and then breaks his word he commits a sin as great as if he had killed a hundred horses, the story is told in. But the charmer there is called Manika. Rohi is the name of the ninth nakshatra or lunar asterism personified as a daughter of Daksha, and the favorite wife of the moon. Aldebaran is the principal star in the constellation. Valmiki and succeeding poets make the second vowel in this name long or short at their pleasure, some of the mountains here mentioned are fabulous and others it is impossible to identify. Sugrava means to include all the mountains of India from Kailas the residence of the god Kyuvara, regarded as one of the loftiest peaks of the Himalayas, to Mahendra in the extreme south. From the mountain in the east where the sun is said to rise to Astakal or the western mountain where he sets. The commentators give little assistance, that Mahasela, and K. Our certain mountains is about all the information they Give point one of the celestial elephants of the gods who protect the four quarters and intermediate points of the compass. Vayu or the wind was the father of Hanuman, the path or station of Vishu is the space between the seven rishis or Ursa Major, and Druwa or the polar star point one of the seven seas which surround the earth in concentric circles. The title of Mahesvar or mighty lord is sometimes given to Indra, but more generally to Shiva whom it here denotes, see that the numbers are unmanageable in English verse. The poet speaks of hundreds of our Buddhas. And an our Buddha is a hundred millions. Anulata or Anurata is one of the four sons of the mighty Hiryakapu, an Asur or a Daitya son of Kasyapa. And Dithi and killed by Vishu in his incarnation of the man-lion. Narasinya. According to the Bhagavata Pura the Daitya, or Asur Hiryakapu and Hiraksha his brother, both killed by Vishu, were born again as Rava and Kumbhakra his brother. Puloma, a demon, was the father-in-law of Indra who destroyed him in order to avert an imprecation. Polomi is a patronymic denoting Sachi the daughter of Puloma. Observe the variety of Colors which the poem attributes to all these inhabitants of the different mountainous regions, some white, others yellow, and k. Such different colors were perhaps peculiar and distinctive characteristics of those various races. Garesio, Sush, Tara, Kesri was the husband of Hanuman's mother, and is here called his father. I here unite under one heading two animals of very diverse nature and race, but which from some gross resemblances, probably helped by an equivoke in the language, are closely affiliated in the Hindu myth, the reddish color of the skin, want of symmetry and ungainliness of form, strength in hugging with the four paws or arms, the faculty of climbing, shortness of tail, sensuality, capacity of instruction in dancing and in music, are all characteristics which more or Less distinguish and meet in bears as well as in monkeys. In the Ramayam, the wise Jamnavant, the Odysseus of the expedition of Lanka, is called now king of the bears, Rikshaparthiva, now great monkey. Mahakapi. De Gubernatis. Zoological Mythology, Volume 2. Page 97. Gandhamadana, Angad, Terra. 
Indra Janu, Rumba, Dermaka, Hanuman, Nala, Damuka, Saraba, Kumuda, Vani, Daityas and Danavas are fiends and enemies of the gods, like the titans of Greek mythology. I reduced the unwieldy numbers. Of the original to more modest figures, Sareyu now Sarju is the river on which Ayodhya was built, Kausiki is a river which flows through Behar, commonly called Kosi. Bhagiratha's daughter is Ganga or the Ganges. The legend is told at length in The Descent of Ganga. A mountain not identified, the Jumna. The river is personified as the twin sister of Yama, and hence regarded as the daughter of the sun. The Sarasvati, corruptly called Sir Sudi, is supposed to join the Ganges and Jumna at Priyag or Allahabad. It rises in the mountains bounding the northeast part of the province of Delhi, and running in a southwesterly direction becomes lost in the sands of the great desert. The Sindhu is the Indus, the Sanskrit. S becoming H in Persian and being in this instance dropped by the Greeks, the Son which rises in the district of Nagpur and falls into the Ganges above Putna. Mahi is a river rising in Malva and falling into the Gulf of Cambay after a westerly course of 280 miles, there is nothing to show what parts of the country the poet intended to denote as silk producing and silver producing. Yavadwipa means the island of Yava. Wherever that may be, Sisir is said to be a mountain ridge. Projecting from the base of Meru on the south. Wilson's Vishnu. Pura, Edition Hall, Volume 2. Page 117. This appears to be some mythical stream and not the well known sown. The name means red colored. A fabulous thorny rod of the cotton. Tree used for torturing the wicked in hell. The tree gives its name, Salmali, to one of the seven Dwipas, or great divisions of the known continent, and also to a hell where the wicked are tormented with the pickles of the tree, the king of the feathered. Creation. Visvakarma, the Mulsabur of the Indian heaven. The terrific fiends named Mandihas. Attempt to devour the sun for Brahma denounced this curse upon them. That without the power to perish they should die every day, and revive by night, and therefore a fierce contest occurs, daily, between them and the sun. Wilson's Vishupura Volume 2 P. 250. Said in the Vishu Pura to be a ridge projecting from the base of Meru to the north, Kinnars or centaurs reversed, beings with equine head and human bodies. Yikshas are demigods attendant on. Kyuvara the god of wealth, Orva was one of the descendants of Brigu. From his wrath proceeded a flame that threatened to destroy the world, had not Orva cast it into the ocean where it remained concealed, and having the face of a horse. The legend is told in the Mahabharat. I. 6802. The word Jatarupa means gold. The celebrated mythological serpent. King Sesha, called also Ananta or the Infinite, represented as bearing the earth. On one of his thousand heads. Jambudwipa is in the center of the seven great Dwipas or continents into which the world is divided. And in the center of Jambudwipa is the golden mountain Meru 84,000 yojins high, and crowned by the great city of Brahma. C. Wilson's Vishupura, Volume 2. P. 110. Vikanases are a race of hermit. Saints said to have sprung from the nails of Prajapati. The wife of Kratu, Samnadi, brought forth the 60,000 Valakilyas, pygmy sages, no bigger than a joint of the thumb, chaste, pious, resplendent as the rays of the sun. Wilson's Vishu. Pura, the continent in which Siddharsan or Meru stands, I. E. Jambadwip, the names of some historical peoples which occur in this canto and in the cantos describing the south and north, will be found in the additional notes. They are bare lists, not susceptible of a metrical version. Suhotra, Sarari, 
Saragoma, Gaia. Gavaksha, Gavaya, Sushya, Gandhamadana, Okamuka, and Ananga, the modern Nirbhada, Krishavi is mentioned in the Vishupura as the deep Krishavi. But there appears to be no clue to its identification. The modern god Avery, the Mekalas or Meklas according to the Paras live in the Vindhya hills, but here they appear among the peoples. Of the south, Utkal is still the native name. Of Orissa, the land of the people of the Ten Forts. Professor Hall in a note on Wilson's Vishupura, Volume 2. Page 160 says. The oral traditions of the vicinity to this day assign the name of Dasarna to a region. Lying to the east of the district of Chandiri. Avanti is one of the ancient names of the celebrated Ujjayan origin in central India, not identified, Ayamuk means iron-faced. The mountain is not identified. The Kaveri or modern Kaveri is well known and has always borne the same appellation, being the Shabaris of Ptolemy Point one of the seven principal mountain chains, the southern portion of the western Ghats. Agastya is the great sage who has already frequently appeared as Rama's friend and benefactor, Mrapar is a river rising in Malaya, the Piyas are a people of the Deccan. Mahendra is the chain of hills that extends from Orissa and the northern Sirkars to Gondwana, part of which near Gunjam is still called Mahendra Malay or hills of Mahendra, Lanka, Sinhaladvipa, Sarandib, or Ceylon. The flowery hill of course is mythical, the whole of the geography south of Lanka is of course mythical. Suryavan means sunny, Vedia means connected with lightning, Agastya is here placed far to the south of Lanka. Earlier in this canto he was said to dwell on Malaya, Bhagavati has been frequently mentioned. It is the capital of the serpent gods or demons, and usually represented as being in the regions under the earth. Vasuki is according to some accounts. The king of the Nagas or serpent gods, Selusha, Gramiai, Siksha, Sukha. Babru, the distant south beyond the confines of the earth is the home of departed spirits. And the city of Yama the god of death. Sursha, the good country, is the modern Surayi country northwest of Afghanistan. Baik, the moon mountain here is mythical, Sindhu is the Indus. Periyatra, or as more usually written. Parapetra, is the central or western portion of the Vinya chain which skirts. The province of Malva, Vajra means both diamond and thunderbolt, the two substances being supposed to be identical. Shakravan means the discus bearer, the discus is the favorite weapon of. Vishu, the Indian Hephaestos or Vulcan, Panchajan was a demon who lived in the sea in the form of a conch shell. Wilson's Vishupura, V. 21. Hayagriva, horse necked, is the name of a Daitya who at the dissolution of the universe caused by Brahma's sleep seized and carried off the Vedas. Vishu slew him and recovered the sacred treasures. Meru stands in the center of Jambudwipa, and consequently of the earth. The sun travels round the world, keeping Meru always on his right. To the spectator who fronts him, therefore, as he rises Meru must be always on the north. And as the sun's rays do not penetrate beyond the center of the mountain, the regions beyond, or to the north of it must be in darkness, whilst those on the south of it must be in light, north and south being relative, not absolute, terms. Depending on the position of the spectator with regard to the sun and Meru. Wilson's. Vishupura, Volume 2. Page 243. Note, the Visvadivas are a class of deities to whom sacrifices. Should be daily offered, as part of the ordinary worship of the householder. According. To the Vayu Pura, this is a privilege conferred on them by Brahma and the Pitris as a reward for religious austerities practiced by them upon Himalaya. The eight Vasus were originally 
personifications like other Vedic deities, of natural phenomena, such as fire, wind, and k. Their appellations are variously given by different authorities. The Maruts or storm gods, frequently addressed and worshipped as the attendants and allies of Indra, the mountain behind which the sun sets point one of the oldest and mightiest of the Vedic deities, in later mythology regarded as the god of the sea. The knotted noose with which he seizes and punishes transgressors, Svari is a Manu, offspring of the Sun by Chaya, the poet has not said who the sons of Yama are. The Ladra or Lod, Simplokos, Rasamosa, and the Devadaru or Diadar are well known trees, the hills mentioned are not identifiable. Soma means the moon. Kala, black, Sudarasan, fair to see, and Devasaka. Friend of the gods, the god of wealth. The nymphs of paradise, Kyuvara the son of Visravas. A class of demigods who, like the Yikshas, are the attendants of Kyuvara, and the guardians of his treasures, situated in the eastern part of the Himalaya chain, on the north of Assam. The mountain was torn asunder and the pass formed by the war god Kartike and Parasurama. The Uthara Kurus, it should be remarked, may have been a real people as they are mentioned in the Iteria. Burma, 8. 14. Wherefore the several nations who dwell in this northern quarter. Beyond the Himavat, the Uthara Kurus and the Uthara Madras are consecrated to glorious dominion, and people term them the glorious. In another passage of the same work. However, the Uthara Kurus are treated as belonging to the domain of mythology. Muir's Sanskrit. Texts. Volume 1, page 494. See additional. Notes, The Moon Mountain. The Rudras are the same as the storm winds, more usually. Called Muruts, and are often associated with Indra. In the later mythology the Rudras. Are regarded as inferior manifestations of Shiva, and most of their names are also. Names of Shiva. Yudhiyajri or the hill from which the sun rises, Asta is the mountain behind which the sun sets, Himalaya, the hills of snow, Hanuman was the leader of the army of the south which was under the nominal command of Angad the heir apparent. The Bengal recension, Garizios. Edition, calls this Asura or demon the son of Maricha, the skin of the black antelope was. The ascetic's proper garb, Usanas, is the name of a sage mentioned. In the Vedas. In the epic poems he is identified with Sukra, the regent of. The planet Venus, and described as the preceptor of the Asuras or Daityas, and. Possessor of vast knowledge, Hema, is one of the nymphs of paradise. Marisvari is a general name for the. Last four of the fourteen Manas. Svayam Prabha, the self-luminous is according to the gubernatus the moon. In the Svayam Prabha too, we meet with the moon as a good fairy who from the golden palace which she reserves for her. Friend Hema, the golden one is during a month the guide, in the vast cavern of Hanumant and his companions, who have lost their way in the search of the dawn. Sita. This is is not quite accurate. Hanuman and his companions wander for a month in the cavern without a guide, and then Svayam Prabha leads them out, Purandara. The destroyer of cities. The cities being the clouds which the god of the firmament bursts open with his thunderbolts, to release the waters imprisoned in these fortresses. Of the demons of drought. Perceived that Angad had secured. Through the love of the Vanners, the reversion of Sugrava's kingdom. Or, as another commentator explains it, perceived that Angad had obtained a new kingdom in the enchanted cave which the Vanners, through love of him, would consent to occupy Vihaspati, Lord of Speech, the preceptor of the gods. Sukra is the regent of the planet Venus and the preceptor of the Daityas. The name of various kinds of grass. 
used at sacrificial ceremonies, especially, of the kusa grass, poa sinosuroids, which was used to strew the ground in preparing for a sacrifice, the officiating. Brahmins being purified by sitting on it. Sampati is the eldest son of the celebrated. Garua the king of birds, Vivasvat or the sun is the father of. Yama the god of death, Dasaratha's rash oath and fatal. Promise to his wife Kekei. Vritra, the coverer, hider, obstructor. Of rain, is the name of the Vedic personification of an imaginary malignant. Influence or demon of darkness and drought supposed to take possession of. The clouds. Causing them to obstruct the clearness of the sky and keep back the waters. Indra is represented as battling with this evil influence, and the pent up clouds being practically represented as mountains or castles are shattered by his thunderbolt and made to open their receptacles. Frequent mention has been made of the three steps of Vishu typifying the rising, culmination, and setting of the Sunday for the Churning of the sea, c. Kuvara, the god of wealth, the architect of the gods. Garua, son of Venata, the sovereign. Of the birds. The well-winged one, Garua, the god of the sea, Mahendra is chain of mountains. Generally identified with part of the gods of the peninsula, Matarisva is identified with Vayu, the wind. Of course not equal to the whole. Earth, says the commentator, but equal to Janasthan, this appears to be the Indian form of the stories of Phaeton and Daedalus and Icarus, according to the promise, given him by Brahma. C. In the Bengal recension the fourth book ends here, the remaining cantos being placed in the fifth, each chief comes forward and says how far he can leap. Gaja says he can leap ten yojans. Gavaksha can leap twenty, Gavaya thirty, and so on up to ninety. Prahlada, the son of Hirayakapu, was a pious Daitya remarkable for his devotion to Vishu, and was on this account persecuted by his father. The Bengal recension calls him Arshanami S. Brother. The commentator says Arshanami is Erua. Erua, the charioteer of. The son is the son of Kasyapa and Venata and by consequence brother. Of Garua, called Venatiya from Venata, his mother. Garesio a nymph of paradise, Hanu or Hanu means jaw. Hanuman. Or Hanuman means properly one with a large jaw, Vishu, the god of the three steps, Nraya, he who moved upon the waters, is Vishnu. The allusion is to the famous three steps of that god the Milky Way. This book is called Sundar or the Beautiful. To a European taste it is the most intolerably tedious of the whole. Poem, abounding in repetition, overloaded description, and long and useless speeches. Which impede the action of the poem. Manifest interpolations of whole cantos. Also occur. I have omitted none of the action of the book, but have occasionally. Omitted long passages of commonplace description, lamentation, and long stories. Which have been again and again repeated. Brahma the self-existent, Menaka was the son of Himalaya. And Mina or Menaka. Thus Milton makes the hills of heaven self-moving at command. At his command the uprooted hills retired. Each to his place, they heard his voice and went. Obsequious. The spirit of the mountain is separable from the mountain. Himalaya has also been represented as standing in human form. On one of his own peaks, Sagar or the sea is said to have derived its name from Sagar. The story is fully told in Book I, Cantos. And Kridu is the first of the four ages of the world, the Golden Age, also called Satya. Parvata means a mountain and in the Vedas a cloud. Hence in later mythology the mountains have taken the place of the clouds as the objects of the attacks of Indra the sun god. The feathered king is Garua. The children of Surasa were a thousand mighty many-headed serpents, traversing the sky. Wilson's 
Vishupura, Volume 2. P. 73. That she means, says the commentator, pursue thy journey if thou can. If Milton's spirits are allowed the power of infinite self extension and compression, the same must be conceded to Valmiki's supernatural beings. Given the power as in Milton, the result in Valmiki is perfectly consistent. Deksha is the son of Brahma and one of the Prajapatis or divine progenitors. He had sixty daughters, twenty-seven of whom married to Kasyapa produced, according to one of the Indian cosmogonies, all mundane beings. Does the epithet, descendant of Deksha, given to Surasa, mean that she is one of those daughters? I think not. This epithet is perhaps an appellation common to all created beings as having sprung from Deksha. Goresio, Sinhika, is the mother of Rahuda. Dragon's head or ascending node, the chief agent in eclipses. According to De. Gubernatus, the author of the very learned, ingenious, and interesting though too. Fanciful zoological mythology. Hanuman here represents the sun. Entering into and escaping from a cloud. The biblical Jonah, according to him, typifies. The same phenomenon. Saadi, speaking of sunset, says. Yunus and Aridayanamahi should, Jonas was within the fish's mouth. See additional notes, the Buchanania latifolia, the Bauhinia variegata. Through the power that Ravaya's stern mortifications had won for him his trees bore flowers and fruit. Simultaneously, Visvakarma is the architect of the gods. So in paradise lost Satan when he has stealthily entered the Garden of Eden assumes the form of a cormorant. Priests who fought only with the weapons of religion, the sacred grass used like the verbena of the Romans at sacred rites and the consecrated fire to consume the offering of Gi.1 of the Raksha's lords, the brother Ravat. Indra's elephant. Ravaya's palace appears to have occupied the whole extent of ground, and to have contained within its outer walls the Mansions of all the great Raksha's chiefs. Ravaya's own dwelling seems to have been situated within the enchanted chariot Pushpak, but the description is involved and confused, and it is difficult to say whether the chariot was inside the palace or the palace inside the chariot. Pushpak from Pushpa flower. The car has been mentioned before in Ravaya's. Expedition to carry off Sita. Lakshmi is the wife of Vishu and the goddess of beauty and felicity. She rose, like Aphrodite, from the foam of the sea. For an account of her birth and beauty. Sita Visvakarma is the architect of the gods, the Hephaestos or Mulsabur of the Indian heaven. Ravine the resistless power which his long austerities had endowed him with, had conquered his brother Kyuvra. The god of gold and taken from him his greatest treasure this enchanted car, like Milton's heavenly car. Itself instinct with spirit. Women, says Valmiki. But the commentator. Says that automatic figures only are meant. Women would have seen. Hanuman and given the alarm. Rava had fought against Indra. And the gods, and his body was still scarred by the wounds inflicted by the tusks of. Indra's elephant and by the fiery bolts of the thunderer. The Vasus are a class of eight deities. Originally personifications of natural phenomena, the Maruts are the winds or storm gods, the Adifiers originally seven. Deities of the heavenly sphere of whom Verua is the chief. The name Adifier was afterwards given to any god, specially to Surya the sun the Aspens are the heavenly twins. The Castor and Pollux of the Hindus, the poet forgets that Hanuman has reduced himself to the size of a cat. Sita, not of woman, born, was found by King Janak as he was turning up the ground in preparation for a sacrifice. Sita the six Angas or subordinate branches of the Vedas are one. Siksha, the Science of proper articulation and pronunciation. 
2. Chandas, meter, 3. Vyakarana, linguistic. Analysis or grammar, 4. Nirukta. Explanation of difficult Vedic words, 5. Jayadasham, astronomy, or rather. The Vedic calendar, 6. Kulpa. Ceremonial, there appears to be some. Confusion of time here. It was already morning when Hanuman entered the grove, and the torches would be needless. Rava is one of those beings who can climb them as they will, and can of course assume the loveliest form to please human eyes as well as the terrific shape that suits the king of the Rakshases. White and lovely as the errant or nectar recovered from the depths of the milky sea when churned by the assembled gods. C. Rava in his magic car carrying off the most beautiful women reminds us of the magician in Orlando Furioso, Posseser of the Flying Horse. Volando taler es alza eni lustel. E poi quasi taler la terra raid. E eni porta con lui tutte lo bel. Don che trova per quel contrade. Indian women twisted there. Long hair in a single braid as a sign of mourning for their absent husbands, Janak, king of Midila, was Sita's father. Hirayakapu was a king of the Daityas celebrated for his blasphemous impieties. When his pious son Prahlada praised Vishu the Daitya tried to kill him, when the god appeared in the incarnation of the man-lion and tore the tyrant to pieces. Do unto others as Thou wouldst they should do unto thee, is a precept frequently occurring in the old Indian poems. This charity is to embrace not human beings only, but bird and beast as. Well, he prayeth best who loveth best all things both great and small. It was the custom of Indian warriors to mark their arrows with their ciphers or names, and it seems to have been. Regarded as a point of honor to give an enemy the satisfaction of knowing who had shot at him. This passage however contains, if my memory serves me well, the first mention. In the poem of this practice, and as arrows have been so frequently mentioned and described with almost every conceivable epithet, its occurrence here seems suspicious. No mention of, or allusion to writing has hitherto occurred in the Poem, this threat. In the same words occurs in Dotrava carried off and kept in his palace not only earthly princesses but the daughters of gods and Gandharvs, the wife of Indra. These four lines have occurred before. Prajapatis are the ten lords of created beings first created by Brahma, somewhat like the demiurgy of the Gnostics. This is the number of the Vedic divinities mentioned in the Rigveda. In a shaka I. Sukta XXXIV, the Rishi. Hirayaspa invoking the Asvin says, Anasatya tribarekata sariha divabniriyatam, O. Nasatyas, Asvins, come hither with the thrice eleven gods. And in Sukta XLV, the Rishi Praskanva addressing his hymn to Agni, Ignis, fire, thus invokes him, Lord of. The red steeds, propitiated by our prayers lead hither the thirty-three gods. This number must certainly have been the actual number in the early days of the Vedic religion, although it appears probable enough that the thirty-three Vedic divinities could not then be found coordinated in so systematic a way as they were arranged more recently by the authors of the Upanishads. In the later ages of Brahmanism the number went on increasing without measure by successive mythical and religious creations which peopled the Indian Olympus with abstract beings of every kind. But through lasting veneration of the word of the Veda the custom regained of giving the name of the 33 gods to the immense phalanx of the multiplied deities. Garizio. Serpent gods who dwell in the regions under the earth. In the mythology of the epics the Gandharvs are the heavenly singers or musicians who form the orchestra at the banquets of the gods, and they belong to the heaven of India, in whose battles they share, the mother of Rama, the mother of Lakshma. 
In the south is the region of Yama the god of death, the place of departed spirits, Kumbhakra was one of Ravayas. Brothers, the guards are still in the grove, but they are asleep, and Sita has crept to a tree at some distance from them. As the reason assigned in these passages for not addressing Sita in Sanskrit such as a Brahmin would use is not that she would not understand it, but that it would alarm her and be unsuitable to the speaker. We must take them as indicating that Sanskrit, if not spoken by women of the upper classes at the time when the Ramaya was written, whenever that may have been, was at least understood by them, and was commonly spoken by men of the priestly class, and other educated persons. By the Sanskrit proper to an ordinary man alluded to in the second passage may perhaps be understood. Not a language in which words different from Sanskrit were used, but the employment of formal and elaborate diction. Muir's Sanskrit Texts, Part 2 p. 166.Svayambhu, The Self-Existent Brahma, Vihaspati or Vachaspati, the Lord. Of speech and preceptor of the gods, the Asuras were the fierce enemies of. The gods, the Rudras are manifestations of Shiva. The Maruts or storm gods, Rohi is an asterism personified as. The daughter of Daksha and the favorite wife of the moon. The chief star in the. Constellation is Aldebaran. Arundhati was the wife of the great. Sage Vaisha, and regarded as the pattern of conjugal excellence. She was raised to the heavens as one of the Pleiades, the gods do not shed tears, nor do they touch the ground when they walk or stand. Similarly, Milton's angels marched above the ground and the passive air upbore their nimble tread. Virgil's Vera in Sesu Patuit Dea may refer to the same belief. That a Friend of Rama would praise him as he should be praised, and that if the stranger were Rava in disguise he would avoid the subject, Kyuvara the god of gold. Sita of course knows nothing of what has happened to Rama since the time when she was carried away by Rava. The poet therefore thinks it necessary to repeat the whole story of the meeting between Rama and Sugriva, the defeat of Bali, and subsequent events. I give the Briefest possible outline of the story. The gubernatus thinks that this ring, which the sun Rama sends to the dawn Sita, is a symbol of the sun's disk. Sachi is the loved and lovely wife of Indra, and she is taken as the type of a woman protected by a jealous and all powerful husband. The mountain near Kishkinda, Aravat, is the mighty elephant on which Indra delights to ride. Vibhisha is the wicked Ravias good. Brother, her name is Kala, or in the Bengal. Recension Nanda point one of Ravaya's chief counselors. Hanuman when he entered the city had in order to escape observation condensed himself to the size of a cat the brook Mandakini, not far from Chitraka where Rama sojourned for a time the poet here changes from the second person to the third. The whole long story is repeated with some slight variations and additions from. I give here only the outline, the expedients to vanquish an enemy, or to make him come to terms are said to be for, conciliation, gifts, disunion, and force or punishment. Hanuman considers it useless to employ the first three and resolves to punish Rava by destroying his pleasure grounds, Kinkar means the special servant of a sovereign, who receives his orders immediately from his master. The Bengal Recension gives these Rakshases an epithet which the commentator explains as generated in the mind of Brahma. Rama de Jur King of Kozal of which Ayodhya was the capital. Chaitya Prasada is explained by the commentator as the place where the gods of the Rakshases were kept. Garizio Translates it by, un grande edificio. The bow of Indra is the rainbow. We were told a few lines before that. The chariot of Jambumalai was drawn by asses. 
Here horses are spoken of. The commentator notices the discrepancy and says that by horses asses are meant, armed with the bow of Indra, the rainbow. Ravaya's son, conqueror of Indra, another of Ravaya's sons, the sloka which follows is probably an interpolation, as it is inconsistent with the questioning in Kanto L. He looked on Rava in his pride. And boldly to the monarch cried. I came an envoy to this place. From him who rules the Vanna race. The ten heads of Rava have provoked. Much ridicule from European critics. It should be remembered that. Spencer tells us of two brethren giants, the one of which had two heads, the other three, and Milton speaks of the fourfold visaged four, the four cherubic shapes each of whom had four faces. Durdhar, or as the Bengal recension, reads Mahadara, Prahasta, Mahaparsva, and Nikumba, the chief attendant of Shiva. Bali, not to be confounded with Bali. The Vanner, was a celebrated Daitya or demon who had usurped the empire of the three worlds, and who was deprived of two-thirds of his dominions by Vishu. In the dwarf incarnation, when Hanuman was bound with cords, Indrayit released his captive from the spell laid upon him by the magic weapon. One who murders an ambassador. Raja Bada, goes to Taptakumba, the hell of heated cauldrons. Wilson's Vishu. Pura, Volume 2. Page 217. The fire which is supposed to burn. Beneath the sea, Sita is likened to the fire which is an emblem of purity that I omit two stanzas which continue the metaphor of the sea or lake of air. The moon is its lotus, the sun its wild duck, the clouds are its water weeds, Mars is its shark and so on. Garizio remarks. This comparison of a great lake to the sky and of celestial to aquatic objects is one of those ideas which the view and qualities of natural scenery awake in lively fancies. Imagine one of those grand and splendid lakes of India covered with lotus blossoms, furrowed by wild ducks of the most vivid colors, mantled over here and there with flowers and water weeds and and it will be understood how the fancy of the poet could readily compare to the sky radiant with celestial azure the blue expanse of the water, to the soft light of the moon the inner hue of the lotus, to the splendor of the sun the brilliant colors of the wildfowl, to the stars the flowers, to the cloud the weeds that float upon the water and Sunaba is the mountain that rose from the sea when Hanuman passed over to Lanka.3 Cantos of repetition are omitted Madhuvan. The Honeywood. Indra's pleasure ground or Elysium, Janak was king of Videha or Midila. In Behar. The original. Contains two more cantos which end the book. Canto LXVI begins. Thus, Hanuman thus addressed by the great souled son of Ragu related to the son of Ragu all that Sita had said. And the two cantos contain nothing but Hanuman's account of his interview with Sita, and the report of his own speeches. As well as of hers, the sixth book is called in Sanskrit Yudhika or The War and Lankada. It is generally known at the present day by the latter title Vayu is the god of wind, Garua the king of birds, serpent gods, the god of the sea, Indra's elephant, Kuvara, god of. Wealth. Cuvera's elephant. The planet Venus, or its regent who is regarded as the son of Brigu and preceptor of the Daityas, the seven rishis or saints who form the constellation of the great bear. Trisanku was raised to the skies to form a constellation in the southern hemisphere. The story in told in the sage Visvamitra, who performed for Trisanka the great sacrifice which raised him to the heavens. One of the lunar asterisms containing four or originally two stars under the regency of a dual divinity in Dragni, Indra. And Agni, the lunar asterism Mula, belonging to the Rakshases, the Asuras or demons dwell. 
imprisoned in the depths beneath the sea. The God of riches, brother and enemy. Of Ruva and first possessor of Pushpak the flying car, king of the serpents. Sunka and Takshak are two of the eight serpent chiefs, the god of death, the Pluto of the Hindus. Literally Indra's conqueror, so called. From his victory over that god. Their names are Nikumba, Robasa. Surya Satru, Saptagna, Yajnakopa, Mahaparspa, Mahadara, Agnikatu, Rasmakitu. Dirt Harsha, Indra Satru, Prahasta, Virupaksh, Vajradantra, Dumraksha, Dermaka. Mahabala. Similarly, Antenor urges the restoration of Helen. Let Sparta's treasures be this hour restored. And Argive Helen own her ancient lord. As this advice ye practice or reject. So hope success, or dread the dire effect. Pope's Homer's Iliad, Book 7. The Agnesala or room where the sacrificial fire was kept. The exudation of a fragrant fluid from the male elephant's temples, especially at certain seasons, is frequently spoken of in Sanskrit poetry. It is said to deceive and attract the bees, and is regarded as a sign of health and masculine vigor. Consisting of warriors on elephants, warriors in chariots, charioteers, and infantry, Indra, generally represented as surrounded by the Maruts or storm gods, Janasthan, where Rama lived. As an ascetic, Maya, regarded as the paragon of female beauty, was the creation of Maya the chief artificer of the Daityas or Danavs. Point one of the nymphs of Indra's heaven, the Lotus River, a branch of the heavenly Ganga. Trilokanatha, Lord of the Three Worlds, is a title of Indra, the celestial elephant that carries Indra.As producers of the GHA, clarified butter, or sacrificial oil, used in fire offerings. This desertion to the enemy is somewhat abrupt, and is narrated with brevity not usual with Valmiki. In the Bengal recension the preceding speakers and speeches differ considerably from those given in the text which I follow. Vibhisha is kicked from his seat by Rava, and then, after telling his mother what has happened, he flies to Mount Kailasa, where he has an interview with Shiva, and by his advice seeks Rama and the Vanner. Army, Vihaspati, the preceptor of the gods. In Kadu is mentioned by Rama as an example of filial obedience. At the command of his Father he is said to have killed a cow that a king of the Yikshas, or Kyuvra. Himself, the god of gold. The brace protects the left arm from injury from the bowstring, and the guard protects the fingers of the right hand. The story is told in Book I. Cantos. Fiends and enemies of the gods, the Indus. Cowherds, sprung from a Brahmin. And a woman of the medical tribe, the modern Ahirs, barbarians or outcasts, vra means wound or rent, here in the Bengal recension. Garizio's edition, begins book 6. The Gumti, the anglicized Nirbhada. According to a Puranic legend Kesri, Hanuman's putative father had killed an Asura or demon who appeared in the form of an elephant, and hence arose the hostility between banners and elephants. Here follows the Enumeration of Sugriva's forces which I do not attempt to follow. It soon reaches a hundred thousand billions that I omit the rest of this canto, which is mere repetition. Rava gives in the same words his former answer that the gods, Gandharvs and fiends combined shall not force him to give up Sita. He then orders Sarjula to tell him the names of the Vanar chieftains whom he has seen in Rama's army. These have already been mentioned by Sukha and Sra, Lakshmi is the goddess both of beauty and fortune, and is represented with a lotus in her hand. The poet appears to have forgotten that Sukha and Sra were dismissed with ignominy in Kanto Zix, and have not been reinstated, the four who fled with him. Their names are Anala, Panesa, Sampati, and Pramati. The numbers here are comparatively Moderate, 
10,000 elephants, 10,000 chariots, 20,000 horses. And 10 million giants. The Kinsuk, also called Palasa, is Beautia frondosa, a tree that bears beautiful red crescent shaped blossoms. And is deservedly a favorite with poets. The Simal or Salmali is the silk cotton tree which also bears red blossoms, Verua. The duty of a king to save the lives of his people and avoid bloodshed until milder methods have been tried in vain. I have omitted several of these. Single combats, as there is little variety in the details and each duel results in the victory of the Vanner or his ally Yajnasatru, Mahaparspa, Mahodar, Vajradantra, Sukha, and Sra, Angad. A mysterious weapon consisting of serpents transformed to arrows which deprive the wounded object of all sense and power of motion dot on each foot and at the root of each finger, Varu. The name of one of the mystical weapons the command over which was given by Visvamitra to Rama, as related. In Book I.1 of Sita S. Gard, and her comforter on a former occasion also, the preceptor of the gods. Rama's grandfather. The Gandharvs are warriors and minstrels of Indra's heaven. It is to be understood, says the commentator, that this is not the Akampan who has already been slain. Ravaya's son, whom Hanuman killed when he first visited Lanka. Nila was the son of Agni the god of fire, and possessed, like Milton's demons, the power of dilating and condensing. His form at pleasure. An ancient king of Ayodhya said by some to have been Prithu's father, the daughter of King Kuzadwaja. She became an ascetic, and being insulted by Rava in the woods where she was performing penance, destroyed herself by entering fire, but was born again as Sita. To be in turn the destruction of him who had insulted her. Nandisvara was Shiva's chief attendant. Rava had despised and laughed at him for appearing in the form of a monkey. And the irritated Nandisvara cursed him and foretold his destruction by monkeys. Rava once upheaved and shook Mount Kailasa the favorite. Dwelling place of Shiva the consort of Uma, and was cursed in consequence by the offended goddess. Rumba, who has several times been mentioned in the course of the poem, was one of the nymphs of heaven, and had been insulted by Rava, Punjakastala was the daughter of Varu. Rava himself has mentioned in this book his insult to her, and the curse. Pronounced in consequence by Brahma, Pulasatya was the son of Brahma. And father of Visravas or Palastya the father of Rava and Kumbhakra. I omit a tedious sermon on the danger of rashness and the advantages of prudence. Sufficient to irritate a less passionate hearer than Rava. The Bengal recension assigns a very different speech to Kumbhakra and makes him say that Narad the messenger of the gods had formerly told him that Vishu himself incarnate as Dasaratha's son should come to destroy Rava. Mahodar, Pujiva, Sanhrada, and Vitardan. A name of Vishu, there is so much commonplace. Repetition in these sallies of the Raksha's chieftains that omissions are frequently necessary. The usual ill omens attend the sally of Kumbhakara, and the canto ends with a description of the terrified Vanner's flight, which is briefly repeated in different words at the beginning of the next canto. Kartike, the god of war, and the hero and incarnation Parasurama are said to have cut a passage through the mountain Krauncha a part of the Himalayan range. In the same way as the immense gorge that splits the Pyrenees under the towers of Marbor was cloven at one blow of Roland Sword Durandal, Rishab, Sarab, Nila, Gavaksha, and Gandhamadan, Angad. The text calls him the son of the son of him who holds the thunderbolt, i.e. the grandson of Indra, literally, weighing a thousand. Baras. The bara is a weight equal to 2000 polis, the pala is equal to 4 karsas, and the karsa to 11,375 French 
grams or about 176 grains troy. The spear seems very light for a warrior of Kumhakarea's strength and stature and the work performed with it. The custom of throwing parched or roasted grain, with wreaths and flowers, on the heads of kings and conquerors. When they go forth to battle and return is frequently mentioned by Indian poets, Lakshma. I have abridged this long canto. By omitting some vain repetitions, commonplace epithets and similes and other unimportant matter. There are many verses in this canto which European scholars would rigidly exclude as unmistakably the work of later rhapsodists. Even the reverent commentator whom I follow ventures to remark once or twice. I am sloka prak shipta iti. Bahava, this sloka or verse is in the opinion of many interpolated. Narek was a demon, son of Bumi or Earth, who haunted the city Pragjyadisha, Sombra was a demon of drought, Indra, Devantak, slayer of gods, Narantak. Slayer of men, Adikaya, huge of frame, and Trasiras, three-headed, were all sons of Rava. The demon of eclipse who seizes the Sun and moon, Lakshma. Dot in such cases as this, I am not careful to reproduce the numbers of the poet, which in the text which I follow are six seven zero 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 zero. The Bengal recension being content with thirty million less. The discus or quoit, a sharp-edged circular missile, is the favorite weapon of Vishu to destroy Tripuratha, triple city in the sky, air, and earth built by Maya for a celebrated Asura or demon, or, as another commentator explains, to destroy Kundarp or love. The Lokapalas are sometimes regarded as deities appointed by Brahma at the creation of the word to act as guardians of different orders of beings. But more commonly they are identified with the deities presiding over the four cardinal and four intermediate points of the compass which, according to Manu v. 96, are 1, Indra, guardian of the east, 2, Agni, of the southeast, 3, Yama, of the south, 4, Surya, of the southwest, 5, Verua, of the west, 6, Pavna or Veu, of the northwest, 7, Kuvara, of the north, 8, Soma or Chandra, of the northeast. The chariots of Ravaya's present army are said to have been 150 million in number with 300 million elephants and 1200 million horses and asses. The footmen are merely said to have been unnumbered. It is not very easy to see the advantage of having arrows headed in the way mentioned. Fanciful names for war engines and weapons derived from their resemblance to various animals are not confined to India. The war wolf was used by Edward I at the siege of Brehen. The cat house and the so were used by Edward III at the siege of Dunbar, apparently a peak of the Himalaya. Chain, this exploit of Hanuman is related with inordinate prolixity in the Bengal recension, Gortizio's text. Among other adventures he narrowly escapes being shot by Bharat as he passes over Nandagrama. Near Ayodhya. Hanuman stays Bharat in time, and gives him an account of what has befallen Rama and Sita in the forest and in Lanka. As Gera the king of birds is the mortal enemy of serpents the weapon sacred to him is of course best calculated. To destroy the serpent arrows of Rava, the celebrated saint who has on former occasions assisted Rama with his gifts and counsel, Indra. Yama, Kartike, Kabura, Varu. The Pitris, forefathers or spirits of the dead, are of two kinds, either the spirits of the father, grandfathers and great-grandfathers of an individual or the progenitors of mankind generally. To both of whom obsequial worship is paid and oblations of food are presented. The Maruts or storm gods, the heavenly twins, the castor and Pollux of the Hindus, the man. Par excellence, 
the representative. Man and father of the human race regarded also as God. The Vasus, a class of deities originally. Personifications of natural phenomena. A class. Of celestial beings who dwell between the earth and the sun, the seven horses are. Supposed to symbolize the seven days of the week, point one for each month in the year. The Garden of Kuvara, the god of. Riches, the consort of Indra, the Swayamvara, self choice or. Election of a husband by a princess or daughter of a kshatriya at a public assembly of. Suitors held for the purpose. For a description of the ceremony, see. Nala and the Mayanthi, an episode of the Mahabharat translated. By the late Dean Milman, and idols from the Sanskrit, the Pitris or Manis, the spirits of the. Dead, Kyuvara, the god of. Wealth, Varu, god of the sea. Mahadeva or Shiva, whose ensign. Is a bull, the address. To Rama, both text and commentary, will be found literally translated. In the additional notes. A paraphrase of a portion is all that I have. Attempted here. Revias Queen. Or Minaka. Here, in the Northwest. Recension Sita expresses a wish that Tara and the wives of the Vanner chiefs should be invited to accompany her to Ayodhya. The car deck ends, and the Vanner matrons are added to the party. The Bengal recension ignores this palpable interruption, the Arugya, a respectful offering to gods and venerable men consisting of rice, duiva grass, flowers etc., with water. I have abridged Hanuman's outline of Rama's adventures, with the details of which we are already sufficiently acquainted. In these respectful salutations the person who salutes his superior mentions his own name even when it is well known to the person whom he salutes that I have omitted the chieftains. Names as they could not be introduced without padding. They are Minda, Dwivid, Nila, Rishab, Sush, Nala, Gavaksha, Ganhamadan, Sarab, and Panis. The following edition is found in the Bengal recension, but Vairava, Kyuvara, when he beheld his chariot said, Unto it, go, and carry Rama, and come unto me when my thought shall call thee. And the chariot returned unto Rama. And he honored it when he had heard. What had passed, here follows in the original. An enumeration of the chief blessings which will attend the man or woman who reads or hears read this tale of Rama. These blessings are briefly mentioned at the end of the first canto of the first book, and it appears unnecessary to repeat them here in their amplified form. The Bengal Recension, Garizio's edition, gives them more concisely as follows, this is the Great first poem blessed and glorious, which gives long life to men and victory to kings. The poem which Valmiki made. He who listens to this wondrous tale of Rama. Unwearied in action shall be absolved from all his sins. By listening to the deeds of. Rama he who wishes for sons shall obtain his heart's desire, and to him who longs for. Riches shall riches be given. The virgin who asks for a husband shall obtain a husband suited to her mind, and shall meet again her dear kinsfolk who are far away. They who hear this poem which Valmiki made shall obtain all their desires, and all their prayers shall be fulfilled. The Academy, Volume 3, Number 43, contains an able and interesting notice of this work from the pen of the Professor of Sanskrit in the University of Cambridge. The Uttaraka, Mr. Cowell remarks, bears the same relation to the Ramaya as the cyclic poems to the Iliad. Just as the Cypria of Stasinus, the Ethiopus of Arctinus, and the Little Iliad of Leshes completed the story of the Iliad, and not only added the series of events which preceded and followed it, but also founded episodes of their own on isolated allusions in Homer, so. The Uttaraka is intended to complete the Ramaya, and at the same time to supplement it by intervening episodes to explain casual allusions or isolated incidents which occur in it. 
Thus the early history of the giant Rava and his family fills nearly forty chapters, and we have a full account of his wars with the gods and his conquest of Lanka, which all happened long before the action of the poem commences. Just as the Cypria narrated the birth and early history of Helen, and the two expeditions of the Greeks against Troy. And the latter chapters continue the history of the hero Rama after his triumphant return to his paternal kingdom, and the poem closes with his death and that of his brothers, and the founding by their descendants of various kingdoms in different parts of India. Muir Sanskrit Texts, Part 4, Pages 414 FF Muir Sanskrit Texts, Part 4, 391, 392.c. Academy, 3, 43.academy, Volume 3, Number 43. E. B. Cowell. Academy, Number 43. The story of Sita's banishment will be found. Roughly translated from the Raguva, in the additional notes. E. B. Cowell. Academy, Vol. 3, number 43.Muir. Sanskrit Texts, Part 4, Appendix, G.H.A., Clarified Butter. Gur, Molasses. Haridvar, Anglesey Heard War, Where the Ganges. Enters the Plain Country, Campbell in, Jern. As. S.O.C. Bengal, 1866, Part 2. Page 132, Latham, Desker. F. Volume 2. Page 456, Todd. Annals of Rajasthan, Volume 1, Page 114. Said by the commentator to be an Eastern. People between the Himalayan and Vindian chains, Videha was a district in the province of Behar, the ancient Midila or the modern Tirhut, the people of Malva. The Kasikosalas are a central nation in the Vayu. Pura. The Ramaya places them in the east. The combination indicates the country. Between Benares and Oud. Kosala is a name variously applied. Its earliest and most. Celebrated application is to the country on the banks of the Sarev, the kingdom. Of Rama, of which Ayodhya was the capital. In the Mahabharata we have one Kosala in. The east and another in the south, besides the Prakosalas and Uttarakosalas in the east and north. The Puras placed the Kosalas amongst the people on the back of Vindhya. And it would appear from the Vayu that Kusa the son of Rama transferred his kingdom to a more central position, he ruled over Kosala at his capital of Kusasthali of Kusavati. Built upon the Vindhyan precipices. Wilson's. Vishnu Pra, Volume 2. pp. 157, 172. That the people of South Behar, the Puras, are said to be the inhabitants of the western provinces of Bengal. In the Aitariya Brahma, 7. 18, it is said that the elder sons of Visvamitra were cursed to become progenitors of most abject races, such as Andras, Puras, Sabaris, Palindas, and Mutabas. Wilson's Vishu Pura Volume. 2, 170. Anga is the country about Bagulpur, of which Kampa was the capital. A fabulous people, men who use their ears as a covering. So Sir John Mondevile says, and in another eel ben folk that Han Gretiris and Long, that hanging down to hear knees, and Pliny, lib 4. c. 13, in Cabus Nuda Aelioquin. Corpora pregrans ipsorum oris tota contigunt. Isidore calls them panoshii. Those whose ears hang down to their lips. The iron faces. The one footed. In that country, says Sir John Mondeville, Ben Folk, that Han but o foot and they gone so fast that it is marvale, and the foot is so large that it shadeweth Allah the body a's in the sun, when they wole lie and rest him. So Pliny, Natural History, Lib. 7. C. 2, speaks of, hominum gens, singulus cruribus, myri pernicitatis ad saltum, eastemc siopatis vocari, 
quad in majori estu, humi jacentes resupini, umbres e pedum protegant. These epithets are, as Professor Wilson remarks, exaggerations of national ugliness, or allusions to peculiar customs, which were not literally intended, although they may have furnished the mandevils of ancient and modern times. Vishupura, Volume 2. P. 162. The Karate of Aryan, a general name for savage tribes living in woods. And mountains said by the commentator to be half tigers half. Men. The kingdom seems to have corresponded with the greater part of Berar and Kandesh, the Bengal recension has Kashikas, and places them both in the south and the north, the people of Mysore. There are two Matsyas, one of which, according to the Yentra Samraj, is identifiable with Jaipur. In the Digvijaya of Nakula he subdues the Matsyas further to the west, or Gujarat. Wilson's Vishupura, Volume 2, 158. Dar. Hall observes, in the Mahabharata Savaparwan. 1105 and 1108, notice is taken of the king of Matsya and of the Apramatsyas, and, at 1082, the Matsyas figure as an eastern people. They are placed among the nations of the south in the Ramaya Kishkindada, XL, 2, while the Bengal recension, Kishkindika, XLIV, 12, locates them in the north. The Kalangas were the people of the upper part of the Coromandel coast, well known, in the traditions of the eastern archipelago, as Kling. Ptolemy has a city in that part, called Kaliga, and Pliny. Kalingi Proximi Mari. Wilson's. Vishupura, Volume. 2, 156, note, the Kausikas do not appear to be identifiable, the Andras probably occupied the modern Telangana, the Puras have already been mentioned in Kanto. XL, the inhabitants of the lower part of the Coromandel coast. So called, after them, Kalamadala. A people in the Deccan, the Keralas were the people of Malabar proper. A generic term for persons speaking any language but Sanskrit and not conforming to the usual Hindu institutions. Palinda is applied to any wild or barbarous tribe. Those here named are some of the people of the deserts along the Indus. But Palindas are met with in many other positions, especially in the mountains and forests across central India, the haunts of the Beals and Gons. So Ptolemy places the Palindas along the banks of the Nirmada, to the frontiers of Larais, the Lada or Lar of the Hindus, Kandesh and part of Gujarat. Wilson's Vishupura, Volume 2. 159, Note. Dar. Hall observes that, in the Bengal recension of the Ramaya the Palindas appear both in the south and in the north. The real Ramaya K. K. XLIA, speaks of the northern Palindas. The Surasinas were the inhabitants of Mathura, the Surasini of Aryan, these the Mardi of the Greeks and the two preceding tribes appear to have dwelt in the northwest of Hindustan, the Cambojas are said to be the people of Ericosia. They are always mentioned with the northwestern tribes. The term Yavnas, although, in later times, applied to the Mohammedans, designated formerly the Greeks. The Greeks were known throughout western Asia by the term Yavan, or Ion. That the Macedonian or Bactrian Greeks were most usually intended is not only probable from their position and relations with India, but from their being usually named in concurrence with the northwestern tribes, Cambojas, Daradas, Paradas, Balikas, Sakas and K. In the Ramaya, Mahabharata, Puranas, Manu, and in various poems and plays. Wilson's Vishupura Volume 2 Page 181, Note. These people, the Sakai and Sakai of classical writers, the Indo-Scythians of Ptolemy, extended, about the commencement of our era, along the west of India, from the Hindu Kosh to the mouths of the Indus. The corresponding passage in the Bengal recension has instead of Varadas. Daradas the Dards or inhabitants of the modern Dardistan along the course. 
of the Indus, above the Himalayas, just before it descends to India. From the word yonder. It would appear that the prayer is to be repeated at the rising of the sun the creator of the world and the first of the Hindu. Triad that he who pervades all beings, or the second of. The Hindu triad who preserves the world. The bestower of. Blessings, the third of the Hindu triad and the destroyer of the world dot a name of the war god, also one who urges the senses to. Action, the lord of creatures, or the god of. Sacrifices dot a name of the king of gods, also. All powerful. The giver of wealth. A name of the god. Of riches point one who directly urges the mental faculties to. Action point one who moderates the senses, also the god of the. Regions of the dead point one who produces nectar, amrita, or. One who is always possessed of light. Or one together with Uma, Ardhanarisphara, the. Names or spirits of departed ancestors. Name of a class. Of eight gods, also wealthy, they who are to be served by yogis, or a class of gods named. Satyas. The two physicians of the gods, or they who. Pervade all beings, they who are immortal, or a class. Of gods forty nine in number, omniscient, or the first. King of the world. He that moves, life, or the god of. Wind, the god of fire, lord of creatures. One who prolongs our. Lives, the material cause of knowledge and of the. Seasons point one who shines. The giver of light, the hymn entitled the Aditya Dea begins from this verse and. The words, thou art, are understood in the beginning of this verse. One who enjoys all, pleasurable, objects, the son of Aditi. The lord of the solar disk point one who creates the world. I.e., endows beings with life or soul, and by his rays causes rain and thereby produces. Corn. One who urges the world to action or puts the. World in motion, who is omnipresent point one who walks. Through the sky, or pervades the soul point one who nourishes. The world, i.e., is the supporter. One having rays. Gabhasti, or he who is possessed of the all pervading goddess Lakshmi. Point one resembling gold. Point one who is resplendent or who gives light to other objects. Point one whose seed, redas, is gold, or quicksilver, the material cause of gold. One who is the cause of day. Point one whose horses are of tawny color, or one who pervades the whole space or quarters. Point one whose knowledge is boundless or who has a thousand rays. One who urges the seven, pras, that is the two eyes, the two ears, the nostrils and the organ of speech, or whose chariot, is drawn by seven horses, vid gaphastiman point one who destroys darkness, or ignorance. One from whom our blessings or the enjoyments of paradise come, the architect of the gods, or one who lessens the miseries of our birth and death point one who gives life to the Lifeless world point one who pervades the internal and external worlds. Or one who is resplendent. He who is identified with the Hindu triad, i.e., the creator, Brahma, the supporter, Vishnu, and the destroyer, Shiva, cold or good natured. He is so called because he allays the three sorts of pain. 1. Who is the Lord of all? Vidavakra. Point one who teaches Brahma and others the Vedas. Point one from whom Rudra, the destroyer, or the third of the Hindu triad springs. Point one who is knowable through Aditi, i.e., the eternal Brahmavidya. Great happiness. Or the sky, the destroyer of cold or stupidity, the Lord of the sky. Vid Timuramathana. Point one who is known through the Upanishads. He who is the cause of heavy rain. He who is a friend to the good, or who is the cause of water. One who moves in the solar orbit. Point one who determines the creation of the world, or who is possessed of heat. Point one who has a mass of rays, or who has kaustaba and other precious stones as his ornaments. He who urges all to action. Or who is yellow in color point one who is the destroyer of all point one who is omniscient, or a poet point one who is identified with the whole world point one who is of 
huge form point one who pleases all by giving nourishment, or who is red in color, one who is the cause of the whole world point one who protects the whole world, the most glorious of all that are glorious point one who is identical with the twelve months point one who gives victory over all the worlds to those who are faithfully devoted to him, or the porter of Brahma, named Jaya point one who is identical with the blessing which can be obtained by conquering all the worlds, or with the porter of Brahma named Jayabhadra point one who has Hanuman as his conveyance point one who controls the senses or is furious with those who are not his devotees that he who is free in moving the senses or urges all beings to action that he who can be known through the pranav the mystical omkara one who is the knowledge of brahma point one who devours all things he who is the destroyer of all pains and of love and hate the causes of pain and ignorance which is the cause of love and hate point one. Who is bliss, or the mover point one who destroys ignorance and its effects the doer of all actions. One who beholds the universe, who is a witness of good and bad. Actions, sacrifice of the five sensual fires. According to Apastamba, says the commentator, it should have been placed on the nose, this must therefore have been done in conformity with some other sutras. A class of eight gods. A class of eleven gods called Rudras, named Viryavan. A class of divine devotees named Savyas.1 who resides in the water, the third incarnation of Vishu, that bore the earth on his tusk.1 whose armies are everywhere.1 who controls the senses. He who resides in the heart, or who is full, or all-pervading, Vamana, or the dwarf incarnation of Vishu, the killer of Madhu, a demon that he from whose navel, the lotus, from which Brahma was born, springs that he who has a thousand horns. The horns are here the Sakas of the Samaveda.1 who has a hundred heads. The heads are here meant to devote a hundred commandments of the Vedas, Siddhas are those who have already gained the summit of their desires. Sadhyas are those that are still trying to gain the summit. A mystic syllable uttered in mantras. A mystic syllable made of the letters which respectively denote Brahma, Vishu, and Shiva. A class of divine gods. Sanskaras are those sacred writings through which the divine commands and prohibitions are known. Bali, a demon whom Vamana can find in Patala, Vishu, the second of the Hindu triad, Krisha, black colored. One of the ten incarnations of Vishu. A. Weber. Akademisch Vorlesungen, p. 181. Systema. Brahmanicum, liturgicum, mythologicum, civil, ex monumentis. Indicis, etc. Not only have the races of India translated or epitomized it, but foreign nations have appropriated it wholly or in part, Persia, Java, and Japan itself. I in the third. Century BC.